Good evening, everybody. Thank you so much for coming to Ignite tonight. Ignite is proudly hosted by the Common Cod Fiber Guild. My name is Gina Balzano, and I'm the community coordinator here at Common Cod, and I'm here to tell you about Fiber Camp. Yay! Fiber Camp Boston. Fant Fiber Camp is a fantastic event, much like this event, and we host it, and it will be in March of this year. Um, as your acting Fiber Camp counselor for the evening, it is my duty to let you know that it's March 13th through 15th right here at MIT's Tang Center. What you see right now is uh, the online interface, which is live right now, where you can go and request classes that you'd be interested to take that relate tangentially to the fiber arts. We were having a little debate earlier. Does balloon, out ca balloon art count as fiber? I thought yes, but um, you can make your decision and your vote online. We go by the unconference model, which means all participants are equally invested and the content is driven by participant request. Here you can see our knitting teachers are very, very dedicated. They're willing to lay down so that you'll understand um, the uh, techniques that we teach. There are lots of opportunities, uh, lots of classes throughout the day, and uh, you can order your uh, ticket for the low, low price of $20 right now tonight. And as you see, you're going to see some moments from Fiber Camp flashing before me. There's somebody teaching drop spindling right now. Um, and it's really anything that you're interested in, we can program for Fiber Camp. We can't promise everything, but we can certainly put the word out and try to get uh, instructors in there for you. Um, so how many folks are spinners tonight? Okay. We want to make more spinners, right? So we want to come down to Fiber Camp and make sure that um, we can teach that spinning class. Um, Common Cod Fiber Guild is a guild that's not only open to spinners, we accept and affirm them, so we definitely want to make our showing uh, loud and clear there. We see in this picture Julia Farewell Clay, oh, and here's Sherry, um, showing us her first quilting, I believe, um, and we do offer things more than knitting. We have quilting, we have weaving, we have surface design and print, you'll see, um, you'll see in a minute, um, some more uh, pictures of that right here. There's Amy King. She's uh, showing the class how to uh, draft uh, patterns from existing uh, garments in your wardrobe. Um, and that's just one of the opportunities that you'd have at Fiber Camp. Here's the surface print from um, Natalie Lachelle at Secret Ships. She came and she taught last year and taught us how to do the printing. So you see the elk in the center of that. Um, uh, piece of fabric, and she taught that technique as well. But we're not just limited to two-dimensional things. So here you see um, uh, sewing forms and duct tape. So if you have a duct tape uh, penchant or you like to uh, sew, we have classes for you. So really, there's anything um, for anybody. Uh, here's another uh, fun image. We did uh, Swifts or yarn winders um, out of Tinker Toys. So we do like to think outside of the box at Fiber Camp. <clears throat> And classes aren't the only fun thing that we have at Fiber Camp, too. Um, we have a setting in sleeve uh, lecture that we did last year where folks learned how to set in a sleeve for sewing. So anything that relates tangentially to fiber is up for grabs. Again, you can order your tickets right now. And the more participants we have, the better Fiber Camp is because we have the more people uh, to teach a variety of things. Um, so here you see somebody learning how to crochet. Could have been me. I was in that class last year. It didn't really take. And that's another good point about Fiber Clamp. You, um, for a low monetary investment, you get to see if you like your craft or not very quickly, and you don't have to make a bigger commitment. Um, classes are 30 minutes or an hour. Here you see a group of ladies proudly showing off their um, bags that they learned how to sew. Um, and here's my favorite, favorite thing about Fiber Camp is a fashion show. Last year, we were able to feature um, many local designers. And this year, we're doing something a little different. We're doing the Stitch Runway, your best finished object, and all participants are welcome to join in on that. Um, oh, and here's another picture that's really fun. Uh, we have a wonderful raffle. Hopefully, Rowan will be uh, donating lots of yarn to us again. Um, and during the fashion show, we do a, a fantastic raffle with lots of prizes. If you don't win, however, there's a huge room that is just for stash. So if you want to get rid of it, or if you want to make more of it, you can go into the room and take or leave as much as you would like. And here we also have vendors at Fiber Camp. So if you don't feel like taking a class, you can go shopping. Here is Stephanie from Dirty Water Dye Works selling her wonderful yarn. Maybe she'll be back again this year. We'd love to have her. Um, and so you can do a little shopping as well. Um, 
Fiber Camp is on campus at MIT at the Tang Center. Um, oh, and Fiber Camp is often filled with surprises. Last year, we were able to have Bristol Ivy um, show off a brand new pattern. It debuted at Fiber Camp, and it was uh, thorn by Bristol Ivy. And that's all I could say, but I could go on for Fiber Camp forever, so thanks for listening. <laughs>